You can find more from the Liquid Lunch crew on social media. Visit us at Liquid Lunch TV on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Hey, welcome back. It's Thirsty Thursday, and uh, I've been thirsty indeed, but when this guy comes in, there's only one thing to do, shake it up. And uh, that's what he's always doing. Great friend of the show, great friend of mine, and Frankie. Scotty Lombardo joins us today, and uh, you've seen him. He's a conservative artist. He's got the 22 campaign uh, that addresses veteran suicide, and uh, he's a, a big, big, big advocate of uh, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, <laughs> uh, big supporter of his. And uh, actually, if you see this beautiful flag on the wall here in the studio, that was uh, painted by Scott. He's a world-renowned artist. And... Uh, you're also quite the political activist, my friend. You're, you're usually fighting not for a party, but for America. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Tell our audience what you're up to now. I mean, First this of impeachment all, stuff. I want people to know that this is a flat wall. This is straight, flat across. It looks like I created it to look like a corner. Well, are you supposed to let them in on the illusion? Yeah, yes. I mean, that was part of the lure. You know, it's that extra it work like that I did. You know, I don't want people much, to just think you're in a corner somewhere. Well, it's, it's actually like created. a much bigger yeah. studio yeah. there. But thank um, you. Anyway, so I got dressed up for the show. Actually, I'm uh, working uh, over at the firehouse on Pitch, You see, I'm, Pitch, not Pitch Pitch Street. Street. I'm not confused by that, by seeing you like that. Right. That's, I, like, I walked in and I was like, like yeah, oh, man, like, I feel yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, and okay. Frankie looked at me and was like, that's you. This is the way I'm mostly dressed okay. all the time. Uh, Scotty, join us in a punzoni. Frank, pass down your chilled glass. Just a little and, uh, bit. There's Still a lot of way. craziness going on out there. Oh, but please. today's um, my last day on the show with Frankie as a single man. So we might as well toast to the end of an era. And the beginning of a certainly much more an important one. For, uh, you realize yeah, I'm wearing right. this to the wedding. I understand. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> that's Scott's tuxedo. That's a Scott Lebedo tuxedo. tuxedo. That's actually a little formal. Right there. It's not a bad um, idea. It's not a bad idea. Uh, cheers you look to you. Good doing Thank it. You. Frank, this is, here's to you and Scott. Before we get you fired up. Your, uh, cheers. Conservatism and all the work you do sticking up for the purple people on our audience. But what, what's your take on this impeachment stuff? All right. This, uh, Don't great. curse. I know. I, I got all my cursing out beforehand. Um, look, I, I, I gotta, I'm looking at you people in the audience here because this whole thing is obviously, it, 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 it sounds, you know, I'm listening to it on the radio and it sounds so, oh my God, what is it? It's confusing. It is what it freaking is, people. It's just, just to get this man, the Democrats are doing nothing, nothing. My friends, I tell my Democratic friends, come up with an agenda, talk about health care, nothing. All day, every day, it's Trump. And here they are again trying to pull him down. And I'm telling you people out there that are Trump supporters, we're never, he's never going to lose his base. But there's a few out there who get confused with this bull, okay? Stay the course, okay? Because this is getting really dangerous. Stay the course, please. He's, uh, you're, you're really on to something. And, you know, there are people out there... Um, and, and I talk about moderates, independents, libertarians, you know, moderate Democrats, Republicans, um, that they're like, oh, God, the, this, they, Democrats are going so bad that Trump's going to steamroll them, you know? And, uh, you know, all of our good friend Roger Stone, who has his, uh, you know, finger on the pulse of yeah, a lot yeah. of this stuff, says, no one should take this for granted, and everyone should stay banded together and working harder to keep those fringe people who are thinking like this is getting too crazy. You got to keep them in. I, I agree with you to a point, but again, being somebody who travels the country and who who, who lives with people, the, the the gears of America. You know, there's eight million people in New York City, a bunch of liberals over here. There's a ton, couple of million here, but the 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 the, the, the mass amount of Americans live in America, in, in the heart of America, you're not going to change those people's minds. So it's, I consider this a lock like I did the first election in 2016. Right. It's just sad that we do have a lot of Democratic friends who are falling for this. Well, look, yeah. uh, I, you know, first of all... And Don it's all the time. On the political end of things, Donald Trump would not have gotten elected if only Republicans voted for him. He had tremendous Agreed. appeal to independents and Democrats, including a lot of people that voted for Obama twice. So uh, the Democrats, the Trump Democrats, are a tremendous part of the Trump coalition. Yeah. Uh, but my problem with this whole thing that you were just talking about is if you don't like the president, you know, I get it. There have been presidents that I didn't like. Uh, yeah. You know what but I But there didn't? wasn't the hatred. I didn't vote for them, right? So Agreed. if you don't like Donald Trump, 
don't vote for him. The Simple. solution it's, is not to undo the results of an election and totally halt the work of the country on every other issue in the world so that we can impeach. Scotty, it's where are you? We're going to wrap up this segment. I know you're always out there doing stuff for the community. You're doing great things always. You're, you're working. You're painting a firehouse today, right? Yes, here in New York, right, right? right down on Pitt Street. I'm doing a firehouse down there. Can you give us the number of the boys in the house? Or like uh, the, 20, the, the firehouse is Engine 15. Engine 15. Yeah, it's right down next to the precinct. I want to present this. I got these and prints. Oh, no, we got a, a we making got a painting. Of these uh, beautiful 2020 Trump prints. People, go on my website, buy some of this stuff, go order to, this, uh, put this in your window, stop being afraid. Yeah, well, if they put it in their window, they might throw rocks at it, but stick. that's going to be in our window somewhere, I can tell you that. Um, ah, that Scott Lebedo is always here for us. He's, uh, he's uh, And I'm driving that billboard around, the big 2020 billboard around. Patriot, and uh, it's the reason America exists. My good friend, Scott Lebedo, thanks for joining me again on Liquid Lunch. You stay right there. We're coming back at you right after this.